Welcome to Draw the Line here. And today we're going to talk about uh, what is considered a troll, kind of a, <laughs> if you use this term, you're a troll by that, by, by darn it. And that is SJW. SJW uh, and Disney, along with Marvel, and why it's killing what I love and the industry. So, get ready, boys and girls. We're going to talk about this. Where is... Uh, so, we all know the fuck up of, um, of Star Wars. It's like unsolvable. They're, they they, they blame Star Wars fatigue. You had a bunch of fans that were just wanting and and just um, wanting wanting a star a Star Wars franchise to bloom and, and go and and Marvel with their feminist agenda bullshit. And when they, you know, uh, they came out and made um, Captain America an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. and did all that. And they said, no, it's all of his free will and all this. And, and just ruined the essence of the character to make all the heroes villains by Richard Spencer. And then attacking... And then attacking the, the base group. When are they going to stop doing this? It's not getting them anywhere. We had Ghostbusters that attacked the fan base. And then they wanted to build another Ghostbusters and actually bring it out. Because Dan Aykroyd would love to have a second Ghostbusters. I think agreed to whatever happened just so that he would have a second Ghostbusters with the, with the, um, the female Ghostbusters. When it came out, so we got the female Ghostbusters, which uh, it I watched it. Eventually watched it, and I want to say it was all right. It was just really cringy. Just how uh, I did not find. I did not find uh, Catherine Hedwig or whatever her name is uh, attraction to the secretary and, and that all that funny. Um, even in the original Ghostbusters, uh, the secretary had a thing for Egon, and you know Egon was just not buying into it. I don't know if they were trying to recreate that, but it, it was just, it was, it was just, it was retarded. Anyway, so now we got Brie Larson and all this stuff here. And, and uh, Disney was uh, going, oh, look, and a lot of the, the supporters of it was, oh, look at here, you know, you can't complain unless you buy a ticket, blah, blah, blah. Well, I, you know, and the, but there were, Justifying not going to see the movie. The same people that would say that. Not seeing the Fantastic Four movie. Because we knew that was going to be just a turd sandwich. Then saying. Yeah. You, need, you can't complain until you watch it. It's just a bunch of trolls. You're a troll. Blah, blah, blah. And troll. You're a troll if you, your intent is to get an emotional response. If you try to. Uh just be nice and just have a difference of opinion, well, then you're, you're a troll. And that is just, again, fucktarded. I like the word fucktarded. So, uh, you're a misogynist, all that. Again, um, they said that before. They said it. If you didn't like Ray, call Ray and Mary Sue from Star Wars. 
uh, you are a misogynist and, and this. And I've been called a misogynist. You, you state your opinion, you state why, and if you don't tell the line, well, then you get a bunch of names flung at you. You're a misogynist. You're a rape apologist. You're a bigot. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And while all, and you know, or, or your dog whistle or this, that, and the other thing, which is a bunch of bull. You know, you can't even have a difference of opinion. No one can have a difference of opinion anymore. If you like the movie, fine. I'm glad you like the movie. Uh, me personally, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait to watch it until it comes out on like a free rental, like I did with Fantastic Four, because I knew it was going to be a shit sandwich. Oh, there we go. You had her promoting it and promoting her feminism and all that. And yeah, I don't want politics in my entertainment. I don't want identity politics in my entertainment. You know, the NFL learned that. They still have low numbers after the Colin Kaepernick thing. You know, uh, a good thriving, for, you know, just look, look at Star Wars in comparison. The first movie did pretty good. I went and saw the first movie in theaters and I hated it. I just land blasted it. Okay, and go. That's it. I'm not. I'm not going to watch the second one. I didn't watch the second one in theaters, and it had less people coming, and so everyone was so upset because of the bad writing and all that. And I warned people. I was like, you "Might just want to wait till you go out." And I, and I got attacked. Lost a lot of friends, and um, I was right. You should have just flipped and waited. Because, you know, there's loyalty and there's intelligence. I was loyal at first. You know, I saw what it was, what it was. And it was just a rehashing of um, of the first movie. And then Brie Lars to come out, like, you know, cause I, when I first saw it uh, in Endgame, uh, when uh, Stark sent out the flyer, I got excited because... I read it wrong because I'm a moron. So I thought it was going to be Nova, you know? I was like, oh, yeah, right, Nova. And then someone was like, no, dude, that's not the Nova emblem. That's uh, Captain Marvel. I'm like, Captain Marvel? Isn't she like a crap character? And yeah, she is a crap character. I don't understand why they're using Captain Marvel. They're definitely promoting feminism. I saw the advertisements and, like, her hero... Like really, you're gonna gender just you're just gonna gender it. That's so retarded. You're, you're alienating your base. You know why doesn't work? I don't know. We just called all of our uh, major fans that have been fans all their lives. You know, misogynist retards that are afraid of women. <laughs> and that boggles my mind. When I've had people, and I've had people do this, and they go, well, you don't like women. You don't like strong female characters. I'm like, bitch, what about Alien? Aliens. <laughs> Every Alien movie. What about Tomb Raider? I got all those. What about um, Underworld? I got every single one of them. Even the one, last ones that were not like really that great. They're trying to expand the movie. I'm like, what the hell? I, go, I even own Red Sonja. And that was back in the 80s. And that got bad reviews. I love that movie, and I will say that with pride. I will wear a shirt and say, I love Red Sonja. I have no problems with that. <laughs> I, for Christ's sake. So, what else? Okay, Atomic Blonde. Horrible movie. Horrible movie, but was before. Catwoman. Horrible movie, but was before. Uh, Wonder Woman. And Alita. I went and saw that. Flip it awesome. I loved it. I went back again for a second time. And I hardly ever do that with movies. There are a bunch of, of strong female characters that men like. Uh, when we played games, we played a lot of the female characters because they were uh, more agile. Uh, uh, they were just fun to watch and play. They had good gameplay uh, on, on battling. I mean, what the heck? And... and <laughs> And it was, I got an argument on Women's Day because some guy, uh, some chick, some guy, fellow artist, because I was 
friends artists i'll state my opinions when i'm doing this stuff here but i i state my opinions and they get